Okay, so last proper bit to do on our install of Arch Linux really just to make it half usable and I don't know why my screen is flickering on my camera but whatever, who cares, I'm getting on with it because I'll be here forever Right. so there is a couple of things we need to do I did forget to do this before generating locales which don't worry about what it means but it's just like you're encoding I think for your terminal so we're just going to do that first um, so where do we need to go we need to go in the etc locale.gen folder I think so we need um, pseudo permissions so pseudo whatever text editor using nano I guess or vim if you're doing it properly and locale I think it's um, gen dot gen that's why dot gen go in your password right now I've actually done this before um, I was just testing out before and I've done it already so you just go down find what your layout is basically so if you're Britain it's going to be GB if you're US it's going to be US so uh, just search down so as you can see mine is N for English GB and you want the dot UTF-8 UTF-8 and you want to do the ISO 8859 now if you're America or DK is German I guess and Australia whatever yours is just do whatever yours is so all you do is uh, how it should look so it would look normally like this and this and you just what's called uncomment so you just take out the hash symbol and that's it save that file and then what we need to do is generate um, the locale from that file so we do locale dash gen and then it's not going to do it because you need pseudo permissions whatever pseudo, pseudo locale dash gen and then as you can see it's generating what we need right that's done let's get rid of that so what we're going to do now is actually make our xterm terminal look half decent so if you do start x to go into the graphical environment load up your terminal right we're going to fix this horrible looking thing here so if you haven't already install the xterm package so first of all update your packages of course sudo pacman dash syu uh, then do sudo pacman dash s x term in case you hadn't already done it from my previous video but that's what you need to do and then once that's installed um, we need to generate what's called the x resources file so if we go into that there we go it's the dot x resources so I'm just going to go through this quickly so again whatever your text editor is so I'm going to use vim dot capital x resources I spell that correct yeah and this this is my home folder so your main folder basically um, it's where you need to go and that's it for that so I'm just going to go back all right now we need to populate it I'm not going to bother with all this different stuff here the reason being because we just want to get something functional but you can obviously go on the arch wiki you can look at this and put in whatever but I just want to keep this video short I can do a whole customization thing in the future but we just want it the primary things the font size and get rid of that horrible white background and put in black background with white text so so this is what we want all right I'm gonna have to type this out annoyingly xterm.vt100 I think reverse and then video true okay that will do and then I guess let's find the fonts fonts okay so x term dot bt 100 
uh, face name. Again, you can probably just copy this on your computer, just because I'm in a virtual machine and Vim, whatever. It's just, I uh, can't be bothered to set it up at the moment. So, whatever. Liberation Mono. Uh, size. Oop. Equals, let's just put 14. Do I want anti alias? Yeah, whatever. Anti alias. Equals false. Do I want false? Maybe it will run faster. Okay. I've got a feeling I want true. I've got a feeling I want true. Okay, I hope I put this all in correctly. Uh, do we want that other bit there? Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, there is one more thing we need to do. So I'm going to say that. So our window manager will not open Xterm. This is actually i3. So again, what we want to do, let's just go into the folder first, cd.config, i3, and then you see this config file here, so you use nano, or vim, I'm using vim, of course. Right, and then in this file, we want to find, we want to find, okay, start a terminal. Start a terminal, so we want to delete this, and we want to put xterm, let's get rid of all this stuff here. Okay, hopefully that will work. So let's do p kill i3, let's do start x. No, nope, that didn't work, why didn't that work? Okay, back into config i3.config. Why did that not work? Okay, i3. Um, Start terminal, right? Um, uh, terminal should work, shouldn't it? It should work. So I did X term now. Okay, it is me in it. It is me. Maybe I need to do it as resources. Let's try that. So I'm going to do sudo cp dot x resources and put dot x defaults. Let's try that. Okay. Try that. Be cool. Nothing ever works properly, does it? Is it going to work? Hooray, it works, so it's X defaults. Why did it say X resources? I don't know. Anyway, X defaults, but doesn't matter if you've got both, it's fine. Now, look at this. You've actually got something that's worth using. Here you go, you've got bash in the shell. So, which shell? You've got bash, so you've got the bash shell, so all you need. You can do anything in bash. I'll teach you some basic programming, whatever, we'll build stuff. That's all you need, you can build anything you want. And of course, all, all you're gonna use otherwise is your web browser, what do you need? It's gonna be nice and light. Um, so yeah, so one last thing actually. Let's install, because this is nice. This is nice to have, let's just update. Okay, nothing to do there. Uh, right, so let's do sudo pacman. Now you can actually see the text properly. I want to install, I think it's devour. No, it's not devour, is it? Ah, oh, how annoying. Let's do that. What's the package called? Mm. Maybe I'll install it from somewhere else. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh well, you're just going to have to use your full screen key. It's not a big deal, is it? 
Anyway, maybe I'll do that in the next video. Yep, so that's it. There you go. You've got a perfect computer now. You can look at the Arch Wiki. You can, I've shown you the world. Now you've just got to drink from it. That's it. Anyway, yep, fake YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. I know you probably won't bother anyway. So that's it. Later.